hello from Oaks Opening Metro Park and Preserve, or Oaks Opening, something like that. Yes. This is a park that uh, Alana and I have been wanting to check out for quite some time. It popped up on my radar, um, actually, with Instagram and winter, um, more winter scenes. There's these really fairly mature trees that look pretty awesome popping up uh, out of the, the white snow. This park is up just outside of uh, Toledo, Ohio, kind of by a, uh, it's actually in Maumee, I think, isn't that where it's? I it says White Horse. White Horse, that sounds. Or White House. White Sorry. House. White House, Ohio. <laughs> you know what? Here's some GPS location. Here's some, <laughs> here's some GPS. Uh, this is actually plan uh, D? D Delta for, uh, for our weekend here this weekend. We were originally going to go down to spruce knob in west virginia because it's a new moon phase and there was some opportunities for astro and then um <clears throat> and then the weather has kind of changed on us and gotten pretty crappy so we just um i don't know we kept trying to figure out what else to do i'm excited here because there is a bunch of small hikes uh and this is also our first time staying in a hotel tonight we're going to make this a two-day trip and uh, this is the first time since all of the uh, the COVID stuff that uh, we're going to stay in a hotel to make this a two-dayer. So we're pretty excited about that. As far as today, I do have two concerns, both the same. It's the weather. It's the weather that was once here and the weather that we could have. So we have had a tremendous amount of rain all throughout uh, Ohio. And everything is super, super soggy. So we don't know what mud's going to look like and things like that as well as um, I'm a little concerned about um, the weather that we may get. So we're supposed to have a good chance of storms, 50%. It's always weird when you're hiking out or trying to do outdoor activities and it's a 50% chance of storms because a 50% chance for storms means there's at least half of the opportunity is that it's going to be beautiful and no problem at all. And the other half means all heck's going to break loose. You're going to have lightning, wind, all kinds of other stuff. And being in the woods is the last place you want to be. So uh anyway i think this place offers up a lot of small hikes where we can keep a keep a handle on the weather get back to the truck and uh, make the most of it and with all of that said that's exactly what we're going to do here we go All right, well, we just finished up uh, Ferns and Lakes Trail, right? Ferns and Lakes Trail. I am, uh, we're literally here in the parking lot. I'm cooking us up a little bit of dinner, then we're going to go back out for an evening hike. Alana's down there checking out the map, figuring out exactly what we're going to do. I've already shared uh, several images that I've already taken on that hike. Just a little bit of B-roll. Um, not sure exactly what we're into, but honestly, super fun. Other than a little muddy, 
Um, yeah. That was a really neat little hike that first one we went on. So it's already set the stage for a nice, fun two days. And uh, yeah, that's it. I gotta get cooking. All right, well, we, uh, we're we back at the hotel. Uh, we ended up doing, uh, what was the name of that trail, baby? evergreen trail evergreen loop something like that and uh honestly i mean it was okay but if you were to come here to do some hiking i honestly think there's probably um better places to put your time i know the first trail we did was much more enjoyable even though it had some more mud and things it had some sand and stuff but uh i don't know it just uh i'd probably i'd probably skip it and do some of the other trails if you had time um i did get a few images i will share those uh either next or i already did uh, or a combination thereof who knows I know um, we're pretty knackered we cut it just a little bit short of sunset we're gonna get up or plan to get up uh, first thing in the morning I made sure uh, I packed Alana's favorite brandy and I got some bourbon for me we're gonna go get a nice hot shower and relax in the room have a drink and hit it first thing in the morning so I will see you then Whoop. again and good morning uh, it's day two for us we just left the hotel I'm sort of scurrying into the woods actually we were going to start a new trail first thing this morning but instead uh, what I've decided to do is run in on the trail we started yesterday almost immediately in that trail uh, there was a little woodland scene that I stopped I did take a picture you've already seen that but the whole time I was there I was thinking uh, man that would be so much better if I just had a little bit of fog to kind of fade the, the background away. And as luck would have it, this morning is very foggy. So I am heading into that spot right now. Alana's wrapping up in the truck and I'm gonna try to recapture that exact same photo or look around with a little bit more detail now that there is fog and uh, do that again before we start our new day. So uh, here I go. Right, well, what a wonderful start to the morning. Uh, there was really, I took more than that, but there was really three images yesterday that I took that I was really, frankly, in love with. And behind me is one of them. I was able this morning, that, luckily they were all really close to the parking where we we're going to actually start our hike today or where we intended to. So with this fog, Alana and I first ran back to those spots uh, to capture all three uh, and I really like the little bit of fog and atmosphere behind them I think it makes that extra difference um, so anyway I cannot wait to get back to the computer and uh, get those all loaded up but for now we're headed back to the truck I got to hit my allergy medicine mm -hmm. oh you avoid <laughs> oh, <out> of the mud. <laughs> <laughs> I got to hit my allergy medicine and uh, I'm gonna finish our energy drinks yes. and then we're gonna head over to uh, do you remember the name of the hike we're doing today um... Ridge Trails one. Yeah, we're headed to Ridge Trail. There's a fox something. Fox. Fox trot. Fox. Trail. Fox something like that loop. I'll uh, I'll update you once we're on it. Once we're sure of the name, but uh, we're just kind of giddy with the uh, the beauty in the woods and our start. So uh, here we go.
All right, well, we just finished up Fox Fire Trail. Uh, it's only like a mile and a half mile, 1.7 miles loop. And uh, those were the images that I captured on it. Quite a few little, little scenes. Um, and now we've connected off of, we didn't quite go all the way back from Fox Fire Trail. We connected to the Ridge Trail, which is uh, like 3.2 miles. So uh, I think what we're in for is about five miles of hiking here before lunch. Uh, and then I think we're gonna do Sand Dunes Trail after lunch before we sort of head for home. You can see a little waterway back here behind me. I'm standing on a bridge and I like some of the reflections. Uh, that's really all the image would be about, would be reflections. I'm gonna walk down here off the bank and see if I can make something work while Lana does a few stretches and gets her back to relax a bit, and then we will be back at it. <laughs> you got wet toes? Wet toes, wet toes. <laughs> then I got on the stump. Oh, oh yeah. So oh yeah. Wet. So stump to stump and then make a run for it. Leap as far as you can. You got this. I am not I great. believe you can fly. <laughs> I believe you can touch the sky. Whoop, there she goes. <laughs> Alana's waterproof shoes started to hurt her feet yesterday, and her new ones haven't arrived yet. So today... No, they arrived yesterday while well, we were here. While we were here. So uh, today she's wearing non-waterproof hiking shoes, and uh, how's that working out? They're a little soggy. She's a little soggalacious now. She's... <laughs> All right, well, we are going to be back at it now. We stopped back at the truck, had us a little lunch. Had us, uh, we sat there for a bit, recharged our batteries, got our water bottle filled up, and I think now we're heading off to do the sand, sand dunes trail. So, uh, yeah, lights come on pretty strong. I don't know what it's going to mean for uh, photographs, but it should be still a nice hike. So, uh, I don't know. Here we go. Show off.
All right, well, we finished up the sand dunes hike and then got back to the truck uh, and we decided rather than, we, I think we have two more hikes rather than one that we still want to yeah. try before we kind of head back for home. But uh, while we what we decided to do is since it's midday and we're kind of going faster than we expected, right. um, we just thought we'd drive around a little bit and then we stumbled into this view behind you and this group of trees is really what sparked my interest in in coming to this park in the area. Now, I know this area is a little cliche when it comes to visiting the park. It's photographed all the time. I've seen tons of pictures of it. In fact, there's even photo shoots going on here. I helped out uh, a young lady that was getting her doctorate and was graduating. There was a, two other graduations and right now there's a maternity um, photo shoot going on just on the other side of the woods. So it's used a bunch really for good reason but still i wanted the photo i kind of wanted to do a pano and alana and i are considering uh what we want to do is a large print on the back side of our living room and uh, i'm looking for maybe a black and white which is why i did that last pano in my last vlog and why i've been doing some of those pan those woodland image panos so much um so anyway, that's we're not sure what we want to go with. I wanted this in the queue because I'm thinking with the light the way it was coming in there, it might make for a really nice uh, high contrast black and white. So we're going to finish kind of driving around, hitting some of the roads. I know we have at least one more hike that we're going to hit, not too. Uh, but more than likely two since we still have a good bit of day uh, to have some fun around here. So um, yeah, not sure what it'll be getting into, but it will be something. All right, well, that was Spring Brook Lake Trail. And uh, we over sat over there and had another little snack and relaxed a little bit in the park. And now we've made our way over into what will probably be the last one here, at least for today and for to now. And this is uh, Evergreen Lake Trail, yeah. Evergreen Lake Trail. So uh, yeah, we're looking forward to into getting into this. The light has gotten pretty harsh as you can see, but uh, I think this is gonna be a pretty nice little hike so here we go That is going to wrap up our uh, two day, 24 hours, two Pretty days uh, and an overnight at uh, Oak Openings Preserve and Metro Park area. We ended up with um, just a bit, bit of, just a little over 14, 14 miles. miles. So 14 miles. And we did that with yesterday, we opened up with- um, Ferns and Lakes Trail. So we opened up with the Ferns and Lakes Trail, which, and then, and then uh, after that, then we went and did the Evergreen Trail. Trail. Right. Uh, that was it for yesterday. We And then first thing this morning we got up. We actually did a little extra bonus hiking on that uh, Ferns and Lakes Trail again. And just a little bit of that Evergreen kind of start or that orange yeah. loop where because of fog. So I could reshoot some of those images. And then after that we did the Sand Dunes nope, Trail. we did the Foxfire Trail. Oh, that's right. We did Fox, we, that's right. After that we did the Foxfire Fox Fox Trail. Trail. And the Ridge Trail. And then we headed over to the Ridge Trail, then up to Spring Brook Trail. Then the Sand Dunes Trail. Then, man, my goodness. I know, I gotta keep straight. So then Sand, sand dunes. dunes. And then we drove. And then we drove around, did little photos, did Spring mm -hmm. Brook Trail, and, and then, then did uh, Evergreen. the Evergreen Lake Trail. Yes. 
So that's kind of how we did it. Honestly, other than the uh, combined trails where you have like hiking, horseback riding, and things like that, and then the big um, oak openings trail that goes all the way around the whole shooting match, we pretty much covered everything that can yes. be hiked here. And of those, when we opened up yesterday, that very first trail we did, Ferns and Lakes, I think for me, that was my favorite hike of the visit. What about you? Um, I think, I think so. I think that was the best. I know that I could have completely left the out the Evergreen Trail and through the sand dunes. There was, some yes. there was some logging and burning that had been done there. So honestly, you could completely leave that out of the loop uh, altogether. Uh, if you if you were on a road trip, found yourself in the area, and you wanted to get a quick snapshot of almost everything in a quick hit, the Springbrook Trail is like a one. It's advertised as a one mile. It was actually 0.8. Mm -hmm. There was a beautiful restroom there, yes. a nice little park to grab yeah. lunch, the grills and everything there. You could stretch yep. your legs, do a walk, use yep. the restroom, hit the road again. If you just uh, had that real quick time, if you've got time, you could absolutely do more. As far as trail maintenance, this is a super, super flat area. In yes. fact, we hit the sand dunes and there was like a 10 foot uphill and we were like, oh, what's this? It was kind of <laughs> funny. We got so used to going flat. Yep. Very well maintained other than um, a lot of mud. So, And I think that could be mostly from the time, uh, although there are some areas that lay wet most of the season. Right. So uh, that's it. We had a great time. Hopefully you yes. had a great time following along. Uh, hit the subscribe for me. Ring the bell twice so you get every one of the notifications when I do a video upgrade um, or do a video upload. And that's it. Thanks for following along. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.